Oh, can I get a rec? And that'll be it. Awesome, thank you so much. There you go. Thank you. Yep. I don't know how to start a flight vlog, a regular vlog. <clears throat> so I guess this is how we're starting it. I'm eating a salad and I'm flight planning on the wing of a plane with an extension cord running all the way to charge this. <laughs> Today, um, yeah, this is gross. <laughs> Today, we're doing a quick little flight to Newport Beach from Spanish Fork, Utah. Um, I've never vlogged before. I've never filmed my flying before. But I think it'd be kind of cool and um, it'll be cool to look back on some of the stuff I do and kind of share it with whoever wants to watch it. I honestly don't think anyone's gonna watch it, but you never know. It's a little snowy outside. Um, and it's a little hazy and foggy in Newport Beach. We might need the departure out of here and we might need the approach into Newport, but <clears throat> come along. One thing that nobody in the aviation vlogging community tells you about is how much prep it takes to get the plane ready. My goodness, I had to get here probably like an hour, hour and a half before, and I'm still running behind. Set off for this. Okay, we got pre flights complete. Doors are closed and latched with four green. Parking brake is as required. Battery one and two are on. Gen one, gen two coming on. External GP is not needed. We got 26.6 volts. Vedic channel A is showing. Strobe lights coming on. Cast messages are clear. Thrust levers idle. Brakes are being held. Engine knob coming to run. Clear going around. Left, right, forward. Start. Hear the pump, I got the cast message. Go one, two, three. Got N2, light off, oil pressure, N1. Now we're just looking at ITT primarily.
Um, you join me at flight level 280 with a descent via clearance for the Disney 5 into John Wayne. Um, I have to pee. And I'm absolutely pissed off at myself because I did not record any of the freaking audio for takeoff and cruise. So, I don't know what I'm going to do there, but uh, there's still some interesting stuff. Um, we're about to capture our V-Path. Here it comes. Uh, we're cleared all the way down to the bottom yeah, of the Disney 5 for 8,000. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our descent take. checklist. Thrust lever right, is that. as I'll required. Auto throttle is active. Landing field elevation uh, of 56 a little bit here. is set. Ice you protection better. is better. as required. We only need seven, eight, pro eight, right now. Contact, so we're transition point, altitude. Point, uh, we have 3001 in the pre-select. Seats and seat belts are secure. Brake pressure is checked. And we are expecting the ILS 20 right. Um, I have already briefed that. We have our minimum set at 255 feet. Um, I'm expecting vectors. That's usually what I get when I'm going into there. Um, but, yeah. Don't know how I dropped the ball on that one, but... Never been Echo Bravo. Clear direct Palmdale. Can't direct Palmdale, get everything Bravo. Thanks. perfect the first time, I guess. <laughs> See if we can get the weather for John Wayne. You caution for multiple cranes, various quadrants. The clearance to every frequency for all aircraft has 118.0. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Romeo. Romeo. John Wayne Airport, ATS information, Romeo. 2253 Zulu. Wind 200 at 7. Visibility 10. Ceiling 2600 overcast. Temperature 16, 2.11, altimeter 3003. ILS runway 20, right approach and use. Landing and departing runway 20, right and 20, left. Notices to air mission. Precision approach path indicator for runway 20, right is out of service aircraft south of hotel taxiing on Alpha. Be advised runway 20, left departure, make immediate southeast turn over Alpha. Use caution for multiple cranes, various quadrants. The clearance to every frequency for all aircraft has 118.0. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Romeo. Okay, Romeo. Got ground and standby on 20.8. Kind of just playing the waiting game. Man, the visibility is bad in Southern California. The other day I was here and you could see from here to Catalina. Right now we're kind of over, oh, what are we over? Uh, Apple Valley, um, Daggett, California. Palm Springs is off to our left. Um, but yeah, I was descending into John Wayne the other day, and about this point you could see Catalina Island and all of the ocean, and right now it just is smoky and overcast. But yeah, it should be kind of fun. Okay, crossing through the flight levels here in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and Set 3001. Go ahead and split our screen again. November 9, 03 Alpha Sierra, contact SoCal approach 124.05. 2405 Alpha Sierra. Yeah, today's one of those days that um, you can be on an instrument flight plan and you can be going into an area and sort of like still be flying visually. Obviously, you're still like doing everything that your instruments are telling you to and you're doing everything that ATC tells you to do on an IFR flight plan. But today, I think, is going to be one of those days that I really kind of have to be on the insurance because it's, I mean, I can't see anything uh, beyond kind of big, is it Big Bear off our light, off to our left? Whatever the ski resort is off November to the left. November 7, Mike Alpha, oh, contact sorry. SoCal approach 134.0. 34 nothing. you have a good rest of your day. 677, Mike Alpha, see ya. Thank you, you too, see ya. SoCal Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha is 17.2, descending via the Disney 5 uh, into John Wayne. Block Mike Alpha. SoCal Ontario, 2300. SoCal, I think we stepped on phone, but Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha is 16.3, descending via the Disney 5. 677 Mike Alpha, SoCal Approach Ontario, 2300. 017 Mike Alpha, thanks. Okay, crossing Aspen at 14,000. Next is Caden out or below 13,000.
number 5230, Delta Contact, SoCal 125.5. Good day. That's 255 for 5230, Delta. Number 5, Whiskey Hotel, Contact, SoCal 126.7. Good day. 26.7, 5 Whiskey Hotel, thanks for your help. Vertical track. Yeah, this haze is nasty. Well, on the way up, I explained all of this. Um, and it's useless now, but... Um, my name's Steven. I'm in the uh, incredibly uh, awesome opportunity position. I'm in an amazing position to be able to fly for my father and his business partner. Um, and we use the plane to go and visit um, our clients and take up places and whatnot, uh, golf, a lot of golf. But uh, yeah, I got my license back in October 2019. Sorry, started getting my license in October 2019, was licensed June 2020. COVID was an absolute mess. Um, but um, yeah, we've kind of worked our way through quite a few different planes. Okay, let's see. We are 1, 3,000. Wait for the top descent to go out or above E Rock at 12. Um, yeah, had a Cirrus SR22 Turbo, then a Piper M350, uh, which was quite the transition, um, seeing the difference between the two companies. Then we went to a Piper M600 and actually had a Kodiak at the same time. Um, the idea being that we could carry a lot of people with one and take less people further, faster in the other. And the Kodiak wasn't really used, although it was an absolute blast to fly. Um, and then when we sold the two of those, the goal is to get a PC-12, but the PC-12 market just lit on fire when we um, went to kind of go to market. And so we didn't really want to go for anything old just because it's so, I don't know. We're, we're under the impression that newer aircraft are easier to maintain, a little bit more predictable, and it's just what we know. Um, so it's hard to get a new PC-12. Um, so then we started looking at the twin jet market. Um, and looked at the Honda Jet, Phenom 100 EV, and M2, and we were really starting to look hard at the Phenom and the Honda Jet, but then when it came to insurance, I had, in, companies just didn't want to touch me. I wasn't multi-rated yet, still am not, actually, um, and they just didn't really want to work with me, so we kind of had to reel it back in and try and find something, and so I kind of approached them with the idea of, like, what if we go to a Vision Jet and just kind of because we fell in love with the jet idea, something smooth, something comfortable. Um, and so uh, we kind of shopped around and decided to kind of get back into the single engine turbine world and um, just build my time, get me ready to hopefully one day go into something like a Phenom or Honda Jet. But who knows, PC-12 might be in the market as well. Here comes V-Path ascending down to E-Rock at above 12,000, Lucas at above 11,000, ultimately... Disney at 8,220 knots. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think we'll be flying this around for a little bit. Um, it's an, uh, oh my gosh, it's so much fun to fly. Um, and if Sears is watching, please, please, please make a bigger jet. Because we want it. We really want to be able to carry a lot of people and go far. Um, but this is great. This is so fun. So easy to fly. So much automation. I mean, here I am going into Southern California. And, I mean, the automation is doing, I mean, I've, I'm monitoring it, but it's just doing everything for me. I've got speed restrictions, altitude crossing restrictions. Uh, I mean, come on. You can't beat this. Next up is our approach checklist. We've briefed. The full approach. And we should actually be going around that. Put me on a button. Shoot me a hole. Noon 10 2, Roger. We should have had sending. Okay, let's get our approach chart loaded. Thank you. And once I'm kind of off the arrival, the complicated stuff on the arrival, I can get rid of the vertical situation display because I'm more focused on traffic at this point. 
Uh, what time is it? It's 3.13, but I believe, is that Utah time or is that California time? Uh, who knows? I think we're early, though. Southern California is probably one of my absolute favorite places to fly into. I don't know what it is. I, coming from Utah where it's a desert, I feel like whenever I open the door, I just like, the humidity is so nice. It's always really good temperature. Um, I'm under the um, belief that flying in busier airspace can be more fun and honestly a little bit safer. Because um, you just have controllers kind of monitoring you and helping you and watching everything happen um, versus when you go to some like Number 7, Mike Alpha, conduct approach 124.1. 241, 6, 7, 7, Mike Alpha, we'll see ya. Yeah. Approach, Vision Jet 667, Mike Alpha is 9000, uh, descending via, um, and we have Romeo for John Wayne. 677, Mike Alpha, so Cal Approach, Roger, thanks. Um, yeah, sometimes I've gone to places that aren't controlled very well, and it can be a complete rodeo, where it's just like one guy cuts you off, one guy does this, one guy does, uh, it's just crazy. I'd way rather have controllers throwing instructions at me, just bang, 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 um, than kind of having to do all that thinking yourself. I don't know. Some people might agree. Some people might not. I do remember coming to Southern California for the first time and just being absolutely terrified, thinking, like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. There's no way I can manage this. But I was trained out of Salt Lake International um, with an amazing flight scope there called Elevate Aviation. Seven, Mike Alpha, reduce speed to 190, then to maintain 6,300. All right, phone to 190, now to 6,300, 677 Mike Alpha. 7 Mike Alpha, can I get back to 121.3? Have a good day. All right, uh, 121.3, 677 Mike Alpha. Okay, VNAV's coming off, vertical speed down to 6,300, slow to 190. Here, 400 Romeo Victor, five, four miles from the main maintain 3,000, so that was cleared off. Yeah, but Elevate was right. an amazing school. I trained out of Salt Lake International, so busy is kind of my what I'm used to, and it's what I kind of do well. I'm not going to say best. I'm not best at anything, but I do well in busy airspace. Approach Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha, 6.8, descending for 6,300, 190 on the speed. Vision Jet 677. All right, we're going to try that again. Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha, fly heading 280, vector final approach course. All right, 280 for vector 677 Mike Alpha. Okay, 280 on the heading, heading mode, making the turn. We're going to go ahead and do procedure, activate vectors to final. Okay, 6,300, we got a heading of 280, expecting to intercept, probably getting lower, they usually drop you to like 34 to 3,500 feet once you cross over this mountain range right about here, I don't know if the cameras can see that, but, yeah, nice little approach, this view kind of reminds me of, um, an Oppenheimer, when the nukes are all going off at the end and the world's ending, but, Nice so, Cal, Sky's 3465, just to verify, we're not on a headache, correct? We're just on the arrival. Uh, correct, you're on the arrival right now, but I will be turning you. Roger. Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha, heading 270. Heading 270, 677 Mike Alpha. Okay, okay. IC 270 on the 20 heading, 20 and, and heading thing. mode, we're at 6,300 feet, 190 knots. Vision Jet 852, go ahead and reduce speed to 160 knots, if you're not already there. Already 168, but Heading 350. Heading 350, Sky is 3465. Vision Jet 7 Mike Alpha 5200. Alright, down to 5200, 677 Mike Alpha. Okay, yeah, they're gonna want me. They kind of bring you into John Wayne on like this kind of like high and hot drop you. And if you want to get below the glide slope before intercept, you really have to sink down. Well, that's 4 Foxtrot Tango, descend to maintain 3000. 3000, 4 Fox Tango. Vision Jets of Mike Alpha, you're going to be following a Citation 700 series inbound to John Wayne today. Caution, wake turbulence, reduce speed to 160. All right, phone to 160, and uh, thanks for that, Mike Alpha. 
Right turn 020, descend maintain 3000, sky was 3465. 4 Foxtrot Tango, reduce speed to 180. 180, 4 Okay, I'm gonna go flaps 50 below 190. This is at 852, John Wayne Tower 126.8. 1, okay, we are briefed on the approach, seats in a normal upright position, ice protection is as required. We get set Mike Alpha, maintain 150 knots to Lemon. All right, 150 to Lemon, 67th of Mike Alpha. Ice protection is as required. We don't need any other than probes. Lights are as required. Flaps are 50 percent, and we're 150 rather than 140 on the air. Seven okay. Mike Alpha, center maintain 4,000. Center 4,000, seven Mike Alpha. 3465, mend out to maintain 4,000. Turn left heading 350. Left heading 350. Stop at 4,000. Sky was 3465. Okay, Lemon is our FAF, so we'll go gear and full flaps at Lemon and keep 150 knots till then. Vision Jet 7 Mike Alpha, maintain 3000. All right, down to 3000, 7 Mike Alpha. Vision Jet 6, 7, 7 Mike Alpha, pull miles from Lemon heading 230, 3000 till established, code off approach runway 20 right. All right, 2.30 on the heading, 3,000 to establish clear ILS, 2.0 right to John Wayne, 677 Mike Alpha, thanks. Okay, 2.30 on the heading, down to 3,000, we go ahead and arm approach mode to capture and get the glide path. 0.2.0, we'll slow it up to 1.8.0, 180 knots, lower speed 6 0. About a 4 Fox Shark Tango, turn right, heading 0.8.0. About 4 miles from the Okay, 3465 heading 020, 160 knots. Okay, speed 150 me. heading to intercept, heading, uh, autopilot 0, 0, 0, and auto throttle are armed right now, and active. Altitude select is 3000 feet. Vision okay. jet 7 Mike Alpha, John Wayne Tower 12618. 268, you have a good rest of your day. 677 Mike Alpha, see ya. You too. Okay, let's go ahead and get our localizer is being captured. Looking for glide slope. Sink our heading bug. And here comes glide slope capture. 150 till Lemon. We are two miles from Lemon. John Wayne Tower, Vision Jet 677 Mike Alpha is on ILS 20 right. 677 Mike Alpha, John Wayne Tower, number two following citation, three mile final, caution wake turbulence, runway 20 right, clear to land. All right, 20 right, clear to land. 677 Mike Alpha, thanks. Zero Romeo Victor, you said okay. we are glide slope capture. We are going to go ahead and set our missile approach altitude of 3,000 feet, which is already set. Okay, one mile from Lemon. Starting to get ground contact. We are 2,500 for 255 feet. Okay, before landing, gear is coming Power down. Uh, Flaps are as required. Cabin differential pressure uh, is approaching uh, zero. zero. Right. Let's go ahead and put us in FMS mode, and we'll go full flaps now. Uh, 444, four, four, Tango, Diamond Tower, number three, following a vision jet on a six mile final runway, two right. Continue traffic may be holding position. Okay, gear is down, three right. green. Flaps three are coming four. to. They are now full. Slowing to ref plus 10. Windshield IPS is off. Autopilot will keep it on for a little bit. Airspeed slowing to ref plus 10. Brake pressure is checked. And we do not have any ice after landing. Those brakes as required, obviously, but let's get our go around checklist next. And I have the runway in sight. Okay. Slowing 110 to about 95 knots. If we were continuing, uh, in, or if we were IMC right now, we'd be 1,600 for 255 feet. 368 Hotel, Caution Lake Terminus arrived, Citation, additional traffic, Vision Jet on a Which you should always plan for. Runway, based on your discretion, runway 20 left, clear for the option. Based on my discretion, 68 Hotel, 20 left, clear for the option. Okay, on speed, on glide, and on course.
1,500 for 255. Continuing. Point tower, sky number 197, Alpha, requesting left close traffic for uh, two zero left. Sorry, 17, Alpha, number two, following traffic over the, uh, just past four or five in the downwind, Cherokee at 800 report traffic in sight. Number two, we have the traffic in sight, 17, Alpha. 17, Alpha, number two, following Cherokee, runway two zero left, clear for the option. Number two, two zero left, clear for the option, 17, Alpha. Okay, about 900 from minimums. Bill's in sight. There's seven taking off, but when able to walk VFR. Squawk VFR, seven taking off. Lines four, five, start tango, multiple aircraft on the left trap. Clear the parallel between off your left side, runway two to your right, clear the land. Okay, about right, 600 four, from four, minimum. Four, 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 five, nine, tango, thank you. I can taste the smoke. Star, hello, 3465 on the ILS, two to the right, uh, flying to final person. Okay, 3465, Johnny Tower, number three, final flight, it's on a five mile final runway two to your right, clear the land. Two to the right, clear the land, sky 3465. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do auto throttle disconnect, start slowing it back a bit here. Six hundred for two fifty five, about three hundred fifty above minimums. Five hundred F, five hundred above, caps no longer available. Four four five shot tango, number two final vision jet on mile final showing a fifty nine overtake report traffic and say. Okay, we are on ref. About hundred fifty above minimums. Four five track tango and traffic follow half mile final report traffic in sight. Um, that's unable. Uh, just let me know. Roger, that's the local four. That's out of four five. Four five track tango, Roger, and start a climb. Go around fly heading uh, one nine or five. One nine or five four five. Minimums. Minimums. Okay. Minimums. Autopilot coming off, and we're out visual. Sorry for the, I think it was a PC twelve behind us has to go around. Six eight hotel contact ground for taxi. Foxtrot Tango and maintain 2000. Do that 2000 for Foxtrot Tango. Stall. 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 Pops coming up. Fox 4 Foxtrot Tango, verify heading 195. 195 for Foxtrot Tango. Seven Mike Alpha, stay parking. Go to clear the Seven Mike Alpha. Seven Mike Alpha, contact ground one two zero point eight. All right, twenty point eight six seven seven Mike Alpha. Yeah, I guess a PC twelve had to go around. Ooh, sorry, but I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh, twenty point eight on ground. Go ahead and switch that over after landing. We got flaps are up. Wing stab IPS is off. Engine IPS is off. Probe heat is off. External lights. Go ahead and ice light coming off. Brakes are checked. John Wayne, ground vision jet 677 Mike Alpha, short of 20 right at Golf Taxi, clear AC. 677 Mike Alpha, German ground taxi, Bravo parking. Bravo parking, 7 Mike Alpha. Okay, I don't really want to clip the wing of this Falcon for a citation. Or PC-12 for that matter. I think they want me to swing it around here. Contact tower on one two six point eight. 
Come to a stop. Okay, thrust levers idle, engine IPS is off. It's off. Uh, bleed switch is coming to fresh. I'm going to go ahead and leave my master oxygen on because I've got a quick turn. Lights are as required. Strobe and landing light coming off. Engine knob. We're going to go ahead and ECS disable. Turn that to off. And we got 126 gallons, which is how much I planned for. Engine button coming to off, and we'll push it. Everything's dropping normally. N2 is below 24%, which is good. Caps pin, we'll go ahead and remove. Or reinstall. Gen 1, Gen 2 can come off. On lane ground, nine yeah, well, hotel, west side parking, stop us run up. I have to pee, so catch you in the next one.